take just a minute and share something with you. And uh, Benny made the he created the perfect segue when he mentioned the the sacrifice that was given and the price paid for for our sins. And sometimes, as a a young man, I guess everybody feels this way at times. You feel like you're uh, just living in the wrong time frame. You know, you think a little bit different than everyone else. And uh, I come to terms with that and, and decided maybe that's because I'm supposed to make a difference for a man. So uh, this is something I want to share with you that uh, I really appreciate the radio and reading. And, and I appreciate things that unseen. It gives your mind a chance to work. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to share uh, something that was... Uh, Broadcasted over the air by by a man named uh, Paul Harvey, and it's uh, Jesus and the Bird Cage, and mm. it it sounds like this. Boston preacher Dr. S. D. Gordon placed a beat up, bent, rusted old bird cage beside his pulpit when he told this story. An unkept, unwashed little lad, about ten years old, was coming up the alley swinging this old caved-in bird cage with several tiny birds shivering on the floor of it. The compassionate Dr. Gordon asked the boy where he got the birds. He said he trapped them. And Dr. Gordon asked what he was going to do with them. The boy said he was going to play with them and have fun with them. The preacher said, sooner or later you'll get tired of them. Then what are you going to do with them? The lad said, well, I have some cats at home. They like birds. I'll feed them to my cats. And Dr. Gordon said, Son, how much do you want for the birds? The boy surprised. He hesitated and said, Mister, you don't want these birds. They're just plain old field birds. They can't even sing and they're ugly. And the preacher said, Well, just tell me how much you want. And the grubby little lad, he, he thought about it and he squinted up one eye and he calculated and hesitated and said, Two dollars? And to his surprise, Dr. Gordon reached into his pocket and handed the boy two $1 bills. And the preacher, he took the cage, and the boy in a wink, he hurried up the alley. In a sheltered crevice between buildings, Dr. Gordon opened the door of the cage, and tapping on the rusty exterior, he encouraged the little birds one at a time to, to find their way out through a narrow door and fly away. Thus, having accounted for the empty cage beside his pulpit, the preacher went on to tell what what seemed at first like a separate story about how once upon a time Jesus and the devil had engaged in a negotiation. Satan had boasted how he had baited a trap in Eden's garden and caught himself a world full of people. And what are you going to do with all those people in your cage, Jesus wanted to know. And the devil said, I'm going to play with them. I'm going to tease them. I'm going to make them marry and divorce and fight and kill one another. I'm going to teach them to throw bombs on one another. I'm going to have fun with them. And Jesus said, you can't have fun with them forever. When you get tired of playing, what are you going to do with them? And Satan said, damn them. They're no good. Damn them. Kill them. And Jesus said, well, how much do you want for them? And Satan said, you can't be serious. If I sell them to you, they'll just spit on you. They'll just hate you. They'll hit you and beat you. and They'll hammer nails into you. They're no good. And Jesus again said, how much? And Satan said, all your tears and all your blood. That's the price. And Jesus took the cage and paid the price and opened the door. Thank you. Amen.